Hello and welcome back to Audio Access. This is the third part of the Reaper Accessibility Series, video series. So we are going to work with items, editing items and all those things related to completely items, right? So in the second video, we recorded using Reaper basic recording and also I talked about the basic terminologies uh, for instance tracks and uh, items i hope you have watched that or if you didn't watch that uh, there is a complete playlist on uh, the reaper accessibility video series so if you wish you can watch that and uh, get to know what's going on with the reaper right so with that said we are going to look at editing items in uh, reaper a little bit advanced stuff uh, cutting copying even though I said that uh, I'm going to teach cutting copying in the second video, uh, kind of I didn't uh, do that because uh, there are some other terminologies uh, to be known, right? So in this video, we are going to look at everything related to editing. I think this video might get a little bit longer, but uh, this would worth your time, right? So with that said, uh, let's get started. I'm going to edit the item. I have a speech from uh, Steve Jobs, Mr. Steve Jobs, uh, he was talking in uh, 2005 uh, something conference and uh, we are going to edit that uh, speech by adding some background music as well, right? So let's see what's going on. Now no tracks. I have Reaper opened with uh, no tracks and there are many ways to import items. I didn't show importing items in the second video. So let's see how to import item to Reaper, right? So you don't need a track created to import items, but if you want, you can create a track and uh, you can import items in the specific place or in the starting of the thing. Like uh, it's not necessary to have a track to be imported uh, to item, right? Like, um, you can import items without track then it will create a track and place the item in the appropriate position right now we are bar one beat one zero percent bar one beat one zero percent now in this case we don't need the bar one beat one zero percent let's switch the time base to um, grid ruler to minutes colon seconds you can press alt v to get to the views menu mixer check tab and press up arrow until you hear Full alt go zooms time unit for ruler sub menu t time unit for ruler minutes colon seconds tab and press minute colon seconds reaper v6.07 slash x64 evaluation license pain right now as i said there are many ways to import items the first way of importing an item is you can press alt i which will get you to the insert menu media file insert m and you can press the media file as the first option it has been selected you can press enter on this and import file into project All dialog right. file name file name combo box collapsed edit you can get to this import file name box from that way or reaper v6.07 slash x press escape there is another shortcut which is insert now in this case since we are using nvda or jaws you have to press double insert at the same time to pass the key to the reaper now you know since insert is the modifier key for nvda and also jaws so you have to say nvda or jaws hey i'm gonna talk to reaper not you so please pass the key to the reaper right so we have to press double insert at the same time uh, rapidly and you will get that import item dialog let's do it Import right. file into project. Dialog file name. File name. Combo. Now, you can go to the oh, box collapsed. At item one dot place where I items you folders grouping expand. Have stored the item in the in my case. Desk documents row. Um, items having system and that Steve Jobs 2005 stamp. Building piece. Dialog cancel button. Unsafe project. Right. Reaper V6. Now, in by default, it will build peaks. Okay, and. Uh, the uh, a re-peak file will be generated in the output folder where the, our file is stored okay so don't worry about that now if we press up arrow one steve jobs 2005 stanford commencement address one item okay now what it has done is it has created a new track and named th the track as the item it has copied the item name and it has named the, the track automatically now the track name is the item name right 
and also one item it has added the item as well one Steve Jobs 2005 stand for commencement address dot mp30.006 dot mp30.006 right now I'd like to one Steve Jobs two thousand delete the track name track so name edit select blank select wait. and remove pain all right one one item now if we press spacebar to play this it will play right now that is a kind of an intro. This program is brought to you by Stanford University. Please visit us at stanford.edu. All right. Thank you. All right, that is the item, right? Now, there is another uh, kind of a new way of importing an item, which is using Control I. Okay. Now you can press F12 to turn on the shortcut help. Shortcut help on. And you can press whatever the key in Reaper to check the corresponding action. Now in my case, let's press space bar. Transport play slash stop. Play, play st uh, slash stop. If you press Control space. Transport play slash pause. Play slash pause. Let's say Control Shift M. Options auto metronome. Right. Then let's see control I. Zenapio slash SWS insert media file from clipboard. Alright. Now insert media file from clipboard, right? Now let's turn off the shortcut uh, help by pressing F12. Shortcut help off. Now I'm gonna go to my folder music. This P3 view yeah. this item music. I have stored the file. King underscore street dot MP3. Okay. Let's type. press control C on this king underscore thing music. You can press Ctrl C and close the window. Desktop. Get back to Reaper. Un unsaved project. Let's create a new track. Track name edit. Blank. Music. Pain. Two music zero items. And you can press Ctrl I to paste the item within the clipboard to the track. Okay. Unsaved project. Reaper. All right. Now, if we press down arrow to check what's going on in the track. Two music one item. Two music one item. One king underscore street dot mp three zero point oh 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 set. Zero mid zero point oh oh. Now, if we press spacebar, this program music. is brought to you by. You can hear the music as well. So we have to cut some parts of the uh, speech. Okay. Now, back to work. A little bit work there. Now we have to cut the guitar part and also the introduction thing that this uh, recording is. This one, that one. Okay. To do that. Uh, the first way we can do is by time selection, but in this case the time selection won't work. Why? Because there are two tracks, music track and also one, two, one, one item. the audio track, the sp uh, speech, right? Now by default the time selection will be affected for all of the tracks, okay? Now in this case we have to use the split option, okay? Now let's go to the place where we, ha we, ha we have to... Um, Speed the audio. One one item. Um, two point four six eight ten point three. Now we have to cut. Two music one item. Let's mute the music. You can mute the music by pressing F five. Muted. One one item. Two music muted. One item. Two music muted. One one item. Let's go to the. Today. Twenty I'm. Uh, Twenty. Let's see. Pause. All right. Uh, pause, pause, pause. I'm okay. I'm okay. Okay, exact place. Okay, let's I'm scrub. You can scrub by pressing left, right arrow, and also you can change the zoom ratio by pressing numpad plus numpad dash, and also um, just the dash key and also the equals key. Okay, I have taught this in the second video. Okay, so I'm uh, honored. We are at the right place now. We want to delete the first uh, part until here. Okay, we have to start the actual audio from this. I'm uh, on. I am a uh, thing, right? We can split. We can use the splitting option in Reaper to delete the item. Now, here comes the ripple mode, which I was talking in the second video. Ripple mode, by default, it is turned off. 
right you can press ctrl alt uh, sorry alt shift p to check the ripple mode what's the state ripple off ripple off if you press ctrl uh, sorry alt p to ripple per track ripple per track this is the setting we want now without turning on the ripple mode without setting the ripple mode to the track if we delete the item ripple all tracks ripple off one one item now we have to split before deleting zero min 26 point let's press s one item added two now two items are there one one item what two music music two items oh i i have uh split the wrong item sorry undo split items you can press ctrl z to undo two music music one 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 item okay now to make sure that you have selected the right item you can press shift a let's check what's the shortcut, shortcut f12 and you can press shift a zenatio slash sws select items under edit cursor on selected tracks all right now shortcut help off i am in the first track which is a speech and we are at the right position to start the split i'm uh... okay now i can press shift a to select the item one item selected now i can press s to split one item added one two items one two items now if i delete the first item two steve jobs one steve jobs which is the music and uh, other introduction one item removed 0 min 0.000 set now remember i haven't toggled the ripple uh, mode to track okay just ripple mode is off okay ripple off i checked using control alt shift p p okay alt shift p okay now we are at 0 min 0.000 set 0 min 0.000 set which is the starting of the project if i press space bar to play I won't hear the I am thing because the reaper it has not adjusted the item okay just it uh, there is a silence between the uh, starting and the I am thing okay let's press space bar we don't hear anything until the music and also the introduction plays okay i hope you have understood the items remains same the timing remains same but the item is not okay that is the uh, thing when it comes to ripple modes okay now you have to practice those things to be more familiar with uh, those concepts okay if you have any questions please I'm, let me know okay on. we are uh, we have come to the i am thing right now let's press undo undo the items undo the items one two items two steve job one steve job let's select the first item and Let's toggle the ripple mode to track by pressing Alt P. Ripple per track. Now, if we press delete, one item removed. One item removed. Zero min zero point oh 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 set. I am at the starting of the project. I checked using Control Shift J, and if I press space bar right now, you will hear. I'm uh, honored to be with you today for your commencement from one of the finest universities. All right. Got it. I hope you have got it, and. Uh, This is the power of reaper. Okay? Now we have successfully get rid of the first uh, kind of introduction thing. Still, two music music one item. The music is not been affected, okay? You can't use time selection as I said before in this case since we we are having two tracks, right? Now, I would like to show another a little thing to import items, okay? Say you have a lot of music okay and uh, you'd like to check the music before importing you are not sure about the music okay in that case you can use the media explorer okay which is built into reba which is a great tool okay let's see how to use that as soon as possible right to open the media explorer you can press control alt x right before that you have to go to the view menu by pressing alt v mixer checked tab and you have to press this mixer checked because with mixer checked the media explorer is not accessible right it uh, get rid of the focus kind of thing so it's better to press this uh, media uh, sorry Mad mixer checked tab mixer checked and you you have to uncheck this unsave project reaper v and now if you press control alt x reaper underscore dot grouping media explorer dialog 0.00 db no me right. now media explorer dialog now you can press track templates greater than one down arrow up arrow and project the my computer 3 of 5 you can press this my computer and not pressing just select and press tab list one list c backslash now you have this uh, cd all of things right d c 
backslash with D backslash large. Now C D backslash C. Back. I have to browse to my music collection. I'm having a music collection. Program select program user first program files program users size date users. Modem rat 3D objects selected. Music size date music. for 8 MP3. Now, if you press down arrow, now here I'm having a lot of collection, like 59 tracks. Okay. If you press up down arrow, 1 MP3 size 2.8 MB date. It plays, right? Just it plays. You can check while browsing. 2 MP3 size 3.3 MP3 size 4 MP3 size 5 MP3 size 6 MP3 7 MP3 8 MP3 9 MP3 size 10 MP3 size 4. You can press space bar to stop this and there are other options as well when it comes to media explorer but uh, don't worry about that um, because uh, it's kind of a little bit complicated but uh, this method would help you a lot right now if you want to import Context. an item you can select the item and you can select the file actually and you can press application key and there are options insert into project I Insert into project. Insert a time selection. Stretch slash loop to fit unavailable I. Insert into. These insert. are a little bit advanced. Okay. Insert into project on the new track I. All right. Insert as taken selected items I. Insert as taken selected items I. Use as media source for selected items U. Use as media source for selected items. Stretch slash loop to fit U. Preview P. Show in explorer slash finder S. Insert into project I. All right. Now these are the options. Unsafe. Let's press Control Alt X to get rid of the. Pain. Uh, media explorer and also. Two music. If you press escape while uh, you have selected the context menu, sometimes you will lose the focus. Uh, in that case, you have to object nav and get to the I uh, media explorer dialog or you can press control alt x to close and again you can press control alt x to open. Uh, that way you can get the focus back, right? So, Two music, music, one item. now music is muted. Let's go to the music. Now, Unmuted. We can press F5 again to unmute the track. Now let's press spacebar. Be told, uh, I never graduated from college, and uh, this is the closest I've ever got. All right. One, 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 zero, mid, zero. I think something happened to the music when we are doing these things. Ripple all tracks. Ripple off. Ripple per track. Let's delete the music by pressing. Uh, by, I, I have selected the music. One king underscore street and uh, I have one item removed. Deleted, and I think the clipboard contains the music. So I can press Control I. All right. Two music, one item. Now, one, one. if I play the music, I'm uh, honored to be with you today for your commencement from one of the, the finest music, universities right? in the world. Truth be told. I never graduated from college. All right. And, uh, this is the closest I've ever gotten to a college graduation. Now, you have noticed that music is too loud than the speech. Now, in this case, the speech is the main focus. Okay. What we can do is we can either reduce the volume. We can manage with the volume of the track or volume of the item. Now. To play with the track volume, you can press Control Shift Up Down Arrow. If you press Control Shift Up Arrow, 1.00, 2.00, you are increasing the volume by 1 dB. 3.00. If you press Control Shift Down Arrow, 2, 1.0, 1.0, you are increasing the volume by minus 1 dB. Right? Minus 2.00. All right. If you want to go furthermore. Like if you want to increase by 0.5%, you can press Alt and down arrow. Minus 2.05, minus 2.10. If you want to increase the other way, minus 2.05, Alt up arrow. Minus 2.00. All right. Minus 1.00. Minus. If you want to play with the item volume, what you have to select uh, do is you have to select the item by pressing Control Shift or uh, sorry Control Right arrow or Control Left arrow depending on the situation. Now in this case, since we are having only one item with the music track, we can press whatever the key, right? One king underscore street dot mp3. And you can press shift down, uh, sorry, shift page down and shift page up to increase and decrease respectively, right? Let's press space bar to play the thing and let's mess with the volume, right? I'm uh, honored to be with you today for your commencement the music from is one of not the finest universities in the Let's world. hear the music first. Right. Let's Truth be told, shift uh, down I never arrow. graduated from college, 
and uh, this is the closest I've ever gotten to a college graduation. All right. Today, I want to tell you three stories from my life. That's it. No big deal. Just three stories. All right. The first story. This is great. Okay. Now. If you want to control the item more, okay, there is a term, there is a thing which is called item properties, okay. You have to select the item first. Now remember we have changed the item volume, okay. You can press shift F2. Media item properties. Media item properties. You will be landed on the name, on the title of the item. Here there are so many advanced options which we are not going to look at because you know advanced in the future okay but there are few options okay button now you can press okay if you have done these things if you have completed all those settings position edit selected zero o'clock point oh 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 these week you can change you can play the play with this position length edit selected two thirty eight point two nine oh length time radio fade in edit selected zero a curve edit fade in shape button fade out edit selected z curve edit fade out shape snap offset edit item time base combo box track item mix behavior active take loop source checkbox check mute checkbox block checkbox not checked you can do this in this uh, item properties as well right no auto fade check play all takes checkbox not take properties Pitch adjust, semi playback rate set, button preserve pitch when take volume fader slider minus 24.0 dB. Yeah, take volume minus 24.0 dB. Now we have uh, play, played with the volume. So if you want, you can minus 22.6 minus 15. Let's make it minus 8. Normal zero. My 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 minus minus three minus three minus two point my 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 zero point zero point five nine dB. Okay, zero point eight pan faders. Five nine dB. Let's leave it as normal button. That. Convert fade normalize tape pitch shift slash top stretch markers. Now there are a lot of terms. MS mode tape media. Lot of options. Section reverse properties. Choose new file rename file button. All right. Not slash set button. Take choose new file. But if you want, you can choose a new file. Remember, I said an item is not an audio item. Okay, it is a container. It is a virtual container within Reaper. Right. So you can re replace it with whatever you want, right? Rename not just take up a cancel but apply button. Take prop edit select OK button. Let's press OK. You can you you can't press space bar or enter in this case. Uh, you can press but the window will not close. You will lose the focus. Okay. Uh, uh, what I do is I press NVDA key plus enter, which is the insert key plus enter. Or if you are using a laptop layout. You can press the cap lock, caps lock key and enter, right? Save project. All right. Now, two music, one item. Two point oh 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 set. Let's move to Four, the eight, 10, 12, 14 point beginning a, a little little bit uh, later by pressing page down and uh, and uh, this, bar. this is the closest. All right. Let. Mess with the track volume. Control shift down arrow up arrow respectively. And, uh, this is the All right. The track is, as I said, it can hold whatever items, and the track is a kind of a global thing. Okay. Now, if you add another item which is extremely high volume, but uh, since the track is reduced by volume. Uh, you can preserve the thing okay now we don't have to play with the uh, volume each and every time now the other thing that i'm going to teach kind of thing is one, one, how to get information related to the item you can select an item one Steve Jobs, you can press control f2 mp3 file properties dialog file mp3 file properties okay file info edit file name edit read now, only selected C this is the file now file name and file info edit read only now there are file info lot of things mpeg layer 3 at 44100 hz2 channels mpeg layer 3 length 1504.099 length 15 of point something something encoding C channel mode bit rate there are informations but i was mp length 15 looking for the length okay 15 or point point something right now close button Let's press close. Unsaved. Let's go to the Two music. music and let's select the music item. One king underscore three. Let's press control F2 to get to the properties. MP3 file properties. MP3 file properties. File info. Edit red closed. File in. And let's check the length of this. MP3. This is uh, an editable box thing and so you can move by the standard uh, keys uh, to check the length or whatever the thing. Length 238.290. 238 something which means the speech is extremely longer than the music okay what we have to do is we have to fill the music with the sorry fill the speech with the music 
Okay. Close button. Let's press close. Unsaved project. One way is to copy and paste until we get to the end of the speech. Okay. There are other ways as well, uh, which is called looping. But in my case, I cannot understand. But uh, like I don't do much. So in the future, let's see. In this case, I'm going to show the copy paste thing. Right. Now let's select an, the item first. One king underscore street dot mp three zero point oh 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 Let's press Control C. One item copied. You can come to the end of the item by pressing Control Shift period. Two min thirty eight point two nine oh sec. You can come to the starting of the item by pressing Control Shift comma. Zero min zero point oh 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 sec. Let's go to the end by pressing Control Shift Q. End of the item. Two min thirty eight point two nine oh sec. We can press Control V to paste the copied item. One item added. Again, let's press Control Shift Q to the uh, end of the item. Five min sixteen point five eight one sec. Now make sure the time is going on. Okay, uh, the time now five minutes. Let's press Control V to paste. One item added. Again, let's press Control Shift uh, period to get to the end of the item. Seven min fifty four point eight seven one sec. Paste. One item added. End of the item. Ten min thirty three point one six two sec. Paste. One item added. End of the item. Thirteen min eleven point four five two sec. Paste. One item added. End of the item. Fifteen min forty nine point seven four three sec. Paste. One item added. Um. All right. No, no, no. I think. Uh, one, one item. Let's go to the Steve Jobs speech. One Steve Jobs. Let's select the item and let's press Control Shift uh, period to get to the item and let's hear the length. Fourteen min thirty seven point two zero eight sec. All right. Fourteen minutes something. Okay. Now you may be wondering. We got the length, actual length, as something fifteen o nine, and in the item it says fourteen minutes. Remember, we have deleted the first part. Okay. So hope you have understood that. Now we need only fourteen minutes, so we have to delete the last item. Two minutes six king underscore street dot mp three. Let's press Control End to come to the. Eighteen minutes twenty eight point oh three three seconds. Oh my seconds. God! Too much. Seven king dot seven king underscore street. Let's delete this one. One item removed. Six king six king underscore now street dot. Now let's go to the end of the item on this sixth thing. Fifteen minutes forty nine point seven four. Okay, we I think fifteen minutes thing is not um, good. Let's press Control Shift. Comma to get to the starting of the item and let's check the length. Thirteen min eleven point four five two sec. All right. Now what we have to do is we have to use the splitting option. Now let's press space bar and let's. It was idealistic. Let's we have to um, come to the end of the thirteen point four speech first. Fifth seven nine twenty twenty three thirty five point speech mode off. Find yourself hitchhiking. You can speech mode off by pressing shift. Uh, sorry, insert S or uh, caps lock S. In my case, I'm using uh, NVDA. Or you can uh, speech mode off use, uh, using uh, JAWS. You can speech mode off by pressing JAWS key plus space, insert key plus space, and press S. Right? Find yourself hit so eat a day hungry. Wish that. I'm pressing page down to move forward. And now, Brad, stay hungry. All right. Okay. Okay. Now we have come to the right thing. We can press press S. Speech mode off. Two music six item. One item added. One item added. And let's go to the last last item by pressing Control right arrow. Seven king underscore three dot mp three twenty two point six eight five sec. We can press spa, uh, delete key to delete from this point. Okay. One item removed. Now. Two music. Everything is tacked. Okay. There are other things. Uh, side chaining and automation. When it comes to Reaper, side chaining is it will duck uh, by looking at the actual speech. Okay, uh, but in this case, let's stick to the kind of basics of item editing rather than all those things because side chaining evolves some effects. Okay, now we will be looking at effects in the upcoming videos. Okay, so don't worry about that. Right? Two music, six items. Now we are at. The six six can done sixth item sixth uh, we have selected the sixth item. Now, as I said, you have to have the ripple mode enabled, ripple per track, and uh, it will be useful for you to edit all those things. There is another thing, a small thing, transient, right? Transient is 
a kind of a great uh, tool, a small tool. Okay, you can uh, let me explain the transient first, and I will uh, share the uh, show the keystrokes, all those things. Now, in my case, I'm editing a lot of lectures. Okay, lectures and all those audio files. Now, you know, every minute the lecturer won't speak okay sometimes they might have silences sometimes they might uh, he might teach for other students uh, very quietly okay in that case i am editing all those audios by manually okay now let's say from the starting point we have a silence like uh, two three seconds okay now if we want if we want to get to the uh, kind of a um, talking thing like a uh, uh, big bigger sound in the item we can use the transient thing okay now there is another explanation on transient but i cannot uh, explain well uh, there is a theory on transient like audio files peaks waves but uh, it's kind of a complicated topic when it comes to me actually so this is the real scenario i use the thing okay now to show the transient i have to one one item one Steve Jobs 2005 Stanford commencement address dot mp30 mid 0. Uh, 0. I'm let's see now we can use the solo thing one, one. now here comes the solo solo means you can press um, press f6 to solo the track solo and you can uh, play individual track now let's unsolo unsolo let's come to the 2.0 14.0 okay no, uh, a little bit middle and uh, this is the closest i've ever gotten to you can hear the music right if you press F6 to solo the first track, which is a speech, solo. And if you press spacebar, and uh, this is the closest yeah, I've ever got. You can hear only the uh, first track. Okay. Solo means if you solo the selected track, it will play. Only it will play, right? Uh, which is great in this uh, scenario. So you can check the voice, and also you, if you want, you can check the music level as well, right? So. I know this is a little bit complicated and also sometimes I am kind of a uh, little bit um, kind of off topic thing but uh, I really hope these videos would help you out to get started in using Reaper. Reaper is a complicated topic, complicated software so you have to do practical things to learn uh, rather than learning all the theories right. So to show the one solo one item. One, one Steve Jobs. The transient. I'm uh, honored to be with you today for your commencement let's from one of the. Let's see where a silence or something. I'm. Uh, let's delete this file. Uh, delete this item actually. One item removed. And. One so let me. Import ample. Import the item again. System and Steve Jobs unsaved. One Steve. Mm -hmm. One Steve Jobs two thousand zero mid zero. We are at the starting of the project and let's press spacebar. Okay. Now you have noticed that. Uh, for about 1.5 seconds or something we didn't hear and the guitar part starts okay say this is a long uh, pause okay you can press tab to get to the first uh, snap of the guitar press tab and press spacebar yeah we have got to the right now you can uh, go again as well let's press again Again. This program is brought to Again. you by Stanford City. Please visit us. Now from this point it moves a little bit slow because the peak, the higher point is there. The speech is going on. Okay. Let's go. Us to at Stanford.edu. Let's press tab. 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 Now there are a little bit higher waveforms so we don't move uh, in faster things. Okay. But I really hope this uh, thing will be helpful if you are editing longer uh, audio sessions which are like silences and uh, pauses things. So this would help you out uh, in a lot of cases, right? So it depends on the situation. You can shortcut help on transient detection sensitivity increase. You can increase and decre decrease the transient detection sensitivity by pressing Alt Shift Page Up and Alt Shift page down respectively and SWS slash S and M move selected FX up go to end of loop. Uh, there is another thing as well. Zenapio slash transient detection threshold decrease. Yeah. You can play with the threshold using alt control and page up page down respectively. Right? 
um, I'm not going to explain the threshold and sensitivity. These are things because uh, I don't understand well. Because uh, it's I cannot I cannot explain the theory behind these things because I even I didn't understand the theory as well, right? So if you have understood the theory, let me uh, please explain in the comment section. So uh, everybody will be helpful for you. Uh, sorry, what I am talking. So okay. So thank you very much uh, for watching. I really hope uh, this video has helped you out. Um, you know this is not a extremely structured uh, tutorial, so I might jump from here and there. So I really hope you. Uh, will bear with me and also don't worry if you have any questions or if you didn't understand a point please let me know i will try my best to explain the point as much as possible and uh, if necessary i will do a dedicated tutorial on the question which you are having okay now we will be looking at the effects and automation all those things in a new video okay automations mean automation means now say you have uh, you want to change the volume rapidly okay in the first second you have you want to change uh, reduce the volume and in the fi fifth second you have to you want to increase the volume all those things you can play the uh, you can mess with the volume live okay which is a great uh, thing right uh, i use a lot in my videos you have noticed right so thank you very much for watching i really hope uh, this video has helped you out again and uh, i'm sure i went off topic and uh, some of you have haven't understood the things uh, as i said this is not a structured video i'm not uh, structuring and uh, doing these tutorials because e even i didn't learn a structured thing i messed with the practical things and uh, i got from i help from the reaper accessibility resource page which is a great thing uh, please visit the reaper accessibility wiki to get more information on these topics in depth topic there are tutorials as well in the useful links and resources page okay there are groups as well so you can join and uh, talk with the reaper visual impact community there are nice people uh, who actually who helped me to uh, actually learn reaper in a nice manner right so i really hope this video has helped you out i'm always saying that right so thank you very much and i'll see you in the next video signing out mohammad ashad